Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a TCP port scanner using Python. It's pretty easy. So over here I have a empty Python file open and I'm going to edit it using VS Code. So the concept of this video is going to be we are going to use the socket module and using that we'll define a socket and we'll try to connect it to the specific IP address and the port number and if the connection is made then the port would be open that is the port has to be open for the connection to be made so that is how we'll know that whether the certain port is open or not so first you need to import everything from the socket package and then we need to take in three inputs which are the IP address of the target and uh, the port from which we want to start the scan on and the port which we want to end the scan on so the IP address should be a string while the port start and port stop should be integers. So IP would be input to the IP address and then uh, port start would be an integer and then port stop would also be an integer. So after we have done this, we would uh, create a for loop uh, in which we will iterate through each and every uh, port in the range. And we will add a plus one to port stop as the later variable is exclusive in Python. And for every iteration, we will define a tuple which would be the address tuple which would first create the static IP address and then the dynamic port. And then we need to define a socket. And we do that by s is equal to socket. And over here it takes in two uh, values generally. First is the family of the socket and second is the type. Now uh, in, in this example I'm going to be uh, scanning my uh, network router which has an IP 192.168.29.1 over here so this is so this is an ipv4 address so we will use the family would be afi net in caps if it uh, if you wanted to scan an ipv6 address you would use af underscore inet 6 but we, we would use inet and we need to make a tcp socket so we type in soc underscore stream and if you wanted a UDP socket, you would use SOC underscore DGRAM, but we wanted a TCP socket. And then what we are going to do is, we will try to connect uh, to this certain address by this socket. And we will use a function which is called connect x. S dot connect uh, in small s dot connect x. And we'll put in the value of the uh, address tuple that is ADDR. Now the difference between connect and connect X is basically that both are the same things that uh, eventually S would, if the port is open, S would uh, successfully connect to that certain address. And the only difference is that in using connect X, it also returns a value while connecting. So we would store that value in result. And the thing is that if the connection is successful, that is the port is open, the value of result would be equal to zero. Else the value of result would not be equal to zero, would be equal to the error code, whatever it be. We, are, we don't need to care about it. We just need to check whether the value is equal to zero or not. And one more thing, uh, this socket could also be simply defined as this. Because AF inet and SOCKSTREAM are the default values for the socket. So these two lines essentially, line 7 and 8 essentially mean the same thing. I just wrote it to make the program a little more verbose. So we try to connect it and as a good practice we close the socket. And now we just check whether the value of result is equal to 0 or not. In case it is, the port number We'll use formatting uh, for that. The port number dash is open and dot format 
we will put in the port and else the port is not open so we just print the port port number is not open and we format that with port one more thing we would like to do is um, I like to declare an array over here main array and over here I'll just append the value of the port main array dot append and port so that at the end we could print all the values so over here we would first create a somewhat of a banner uh, maybe hyphen yeah and print it 40 times and then we would print the scanning the scanning is done and then we would print the results the ports which are open are and then we just print uh, main array so I guess that would be enough so we just save the program and I'll run it so change the directory to desktop uh, yeah. and make the color a little brighter yeah. so I've already scanned my uh, router and port 80 and 443 that are HTTP and HTTPS services are running so it should show that the port 80 and port 443 are open uh, and sorry one more thing I forgot that you should give a default timeout set one second set default timeout this accepts the value in second so we would give a very small timeout essentially if the port is let's assume the port is open it would make the connection and the value of result would not be would be equal to zero and we would just move forward we would iterate we would close the port ultimately but if the port is closed um, by default i guess the uh, timeout is like it would wait for like three to four seconds so for every time the port is closed it would wait for three, four, three to four seconds and the value of result would then be not equal to zero and then we would print the port number is not open then we would iterate so just to uh, uh, just to avoid that because we are not expecting any kind of network uh, latency over here uh, those things are done so that maybe if there is some um, pa packages which are dropped in the network so that there are other reasons that's why the default timeout is uh, so long like 3 to 4 seconds I don't know the exact value so over here we just put the value of 0 0.001 maybe 0 0.01 this would be good enough and we save it and we run it Uh, main array would be equal to that sorry 192.168.29.1 let's do from 1 to 500 so it takes a little while to start maybe 10 to 15 seconds but after that um, the scanning process is relatively fast and if everything goes right port number 443 and port 80 should be open on this IP address let's see so most of the ports are not open as expected and at the end it would uh, give us the result the scanning is done the ports which are opened are 80 and 443 now we could uh, try to make this program a little bit better we could use the concepts of multi-threading to basically divide the task into multiple threads maybe if there are 500 ports to scan we would use maybe like 10 threads to scan 50 ports on each thread which would be really faster but anyways this was how to create a very very basic port scanner using python and maybe in the next video we will try to make this program a little bit more better so that it will take a little bit less time